Mr. Mas Masters of Ceremony, Reverend Archbishop, my brother, Father Howard, other members of the head table, brothers and sisters in the audience, my namaste to you and my pranam. 25 years ago, I was sitting in the cathedral. I was a little bit younger then and a little bit immature. And I saw Howard going up. And I said to a young lady that was sitting beside me, I said, um, another lamb to be slaughtered. And when everything was over, my mom said to me, a shepherd in the name. And that is what Howard represents to us as a family. Somebody who is committed to a task. Somebody who follows the truth that he believes in. And he has influenced my life in so much that I decided even though I was exposed to Catholicism in my early life, I still follow my Dharma, my true religion that I believe in and I'm a devoted Hindu because Howard says, follow the truth that you believe in. That's a commitment that he gave. Many years ago, I was with him at a function I will not name the type of function. I will not say what the location is. But something happened. And because of his priestly garment, he was prevented from doing what he should have done. Well, I was there, we're in a spiritual place. And I decided, I said, Howard, I'm going to the other place where there's better spirit. When you're finished, we'll go back. Many years later, the same situation came about and I was involved and I was wondering what would happen. But I remember the saying, never cross the river when it's flooded, wait until it's calm cross it. And I did not say anything. I did not ask any questions. I waited. And unlike Howard, who was at the same spot, and I was not at the same spot, I was given the privilege that Howard did not get. These are some of the lessons that we have learned. In our early days, when we gathered together as a family, Howard did not stay with the troublemakers like me. <laughs> he didn't come here to me because I harassed him right through, especially when he went to the seminar. I asked him some questions that we cannot repeat in public. <laughs> but he always stayed with the young children. You know, the, my children and the other young ones. And he created that bond of love in the family that cannot be broken. I probably is the only one that is not in the morning chats because I'm supposed to be the elder brother of the family. But Howard has taught us the importance of integrity. That reminds me of what happened at up the road here, St. Richard's, what he went through at St. Richard's what he went through at Stellaverse up the last week, I heard the criticism. Howard did not cross the river while this was flooded. He waited until it was come. Howard, may God continue to bless you, guide you, and strengthen you. And to bring love to Jamaica as is in turn. Bring the love that you know best so that our country will become a better place to live in. God bless you, my brother.
Ele fala, Leandro, 